Alors, je donne maintenant la parole au, au président de l'Institut turc de l'eau, M. Ahmet Mete Saadsi. Il est là Oui. Et je donnerai ensuite la parole au représentant de Cuba, Madame la présidente de l'Institut national d'hydrologie, si elle est là. His Excellencies, Ministers, Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to um, begin my remarks by congratulating the government of France and the World Water Council for a successful uh, water form. I also wish, as the host country of the Fifth World Water Forum, uh, that the Sixth World Water Forum can give a new momentum to our efforts to find innovative, appropriate solutions for the water issues. Turkey is a rapidly growing country on one hand, and on the other hand, it's a, a, she's a negotiating country for accession to the European Union. In this respect, Turkey understands the different conditions of developing countries and developed countries. In this understanding, Turkey hosted the fourth UN conference on least developed countries in May 2011, an organization for Islamic cooperation ministerial conference on water just a week ago in Istanbul. During the ministerial conference, the OEC water vision aiming the working together for a sustainable water management in future has been adapted. One of the outputs of the last World Water Forum, the Fifth World Water Forum, that took place three years ago in Istanbul, was the Istanbul Water Consensus. It's a guideline to develop management strategies suitable to work towards the Millennium Development Goals and address urbanization, climate change, and other global pressures at local level. I am pleased to say that more than 1,000 local authorities have signed this Istanbul Water Consensus. Turkey has a substantial potential of renewable energy sources. At present, renewable energy supply in Turkey is mainly produced by hydropower. The entire economic hydropower potential of Turkey will be exploited for generating electric energy until 2023 and we are planning to obtain 30% of total electricity production from renewable energy by 2023. Transboundary waters have their own specific characteristics and peculiarities. Each case reflects its own regional, economic, social, and cultural aspects. As the commissioner before me uh, explained, there is no one-size-fits-all approach, and uh, that can be applied to transboundary river basins. Transboundary water issues should be handled among the concerned riparian countries only. Um, it could be hard to say that there exists an internationally binding agreement which could be applicable in each and every basin. In this regard, the 97 Convention has not been able to satisfy the needs of countries in accordance with their national conditions and policies. Turkey is situated in the, middle, in the Eastern Mediterranean region, which has been identified by the Inter-IPCC panel as one of the most vulnerable regions to the adverse impacts of climate change. Uh, Turkey's first national communication on climate change prepared in 2007 indicates the impacts of climate change in Turkey as an increasing summer temperatures, decreasing water precipitation in western provinces, loss of surface water, increased frequency of droughts, and land degradation, coastal erosion, and floods. To address these changes, Turkey's national climate change adaptation strategy and action plan have been recently drafted and will be publicized soon. Given the necessity to utilize water and land resources in an integrated manner, Turkey has launched Southeastern Anatolian Project as a multi-sector integrated regional development project. You can hear more about this project in the high-level panel, uh, which will take place on Friday. 
governments have responsibility to ensure access to safe drinking water and sanitation to their citizens through equitable and reasonable water pricing policies. Therefore, governments should increase their efforts to set realistic targets to supply safe drinking water and sanitation services in the national context. Turkey, in Turkey, 83% 83, 83 of the population has access to improved sanitation, and 40% of the population is served by wastewater treatment plants. Turkey is determined to will to continue the necessary water infrastructure with a view of providing safe water and adequate sanitation services for all of its people. Thank you very much.